you can do either take a deload week where you go in and work, you know, 10% of your max one rep max, or you could just take three to five days off completely and then get back in the gym. It's up to you how you want to deload. Uh, what is your response to people that say Amazon FBA is too saturated? Hmm. Amazon FBA is too saturated. I mean, I guess you just don't know what you're doing or you're not being consistent enough because there's more than enough opportunity and listings out there. It's actually too many. I couldn't go and buy, like, I could spend all the money I have right now on products and still could buy another million dollars if I had it worth of products. Wow. I mean, it's, it's going to be yeah. the future, guys, because um, I was actually, um, who was I talking with about this? I, I, I was talking with Angie about this. The, in the next 10 to 20 years, I predict brick and mortar stores are going to be gone, guys. Like, you're in malls and strip malls, like, all that shit's going to be gone. Like, the only stores that are really going to exist are stores where you have to go in, in person to get it, like Home Depot, Lowe's, like, <laughs> big stuff like that they need for the house. Maybe some clothing stores here and there, boutiques that are super fancy. But in general, man, like, everything is going online. You know, there's a reason why it's called Cyber Monday nowadays, and this whole thing has happened in the past I five years. Online ex uh, shopping has exploded Ever since 2020, even more so. I think we can see people like convenience, aka <laughs> lazy. But um, yeah, everything's going online, and if you can sit at home, and order stuff online, yeah. why leave the house? Uber Eats, like yeah. everything is becoming digitized and becoming simpler. And, and, yeah. and it, honestly, if you're not delivering direct to people's doors, <clears throat> you're you're a leg down. So I think um, I think if anything, the market's just gonna continue to grow and flourish. Yeah, I definitely recommend e-commerce. Even like I see someone in the chat saying Walmart is building distribution centers to compete. Walmart is up and coming too. They have their own platform. I actually sell on Am on Walmart every day too. Okay. okay. Yeah. Some some of my stuff on Amazon that's selling a little slower. I put on Walmart. And I've done a few thousand dollars in the past like a few weeks. Okay. Yeah. Nice. See, I would be nervous to do this on my own with no help. Oh yeah. There's so yeah, many facts. moving parts oh, here. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, what yeah, the? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, the more saturated market comes, the more it, it, it like people are saying, oh, it's saturated. That's why I need coaching. Mm. So you could literally set yourself head and shoulders above the competition while they're fucking f fucking around trying to sell PS5s or whatever, right? Doing shit from 2020. <laughs> yeah, you're over here. You're already on the next product. You know what to sell. You know yeah. what to do. Mm. So it is what it is. Making money back. Um, Adam Goldstein goes shout out to my man KT. He is 100 crushing it. Just remember, use rewards points for personal travel and pay for business travel so you can expense it. Bam, there you go. Well said. Yeah, I, that's a very good point. Like uh, guys, even though I have over a million points on Amex, I don't use those points when I do business travel.